He's gone too far. He's taking up six handicapped spaces with a monster truck. It's only four, and he's going to get rid of it after the wedding. And the chapel? He's turned the chapel into his own personal catering hall. Who cares? Other than a janitor sleeping off a bender, he's the first person to use it in two weeks. Appeasement is never the answer in the face of naked aggression. It won't be long before his tanks are rolling down your Champs-Elysees. I know what House is doing. You, on the other hand, why do you care? He isn't hurting anyone. You're the first boss he's ever had who could handle him. Before you, he was either fired or buried under a mountain of malpractice suits. He needs someone to say no. He needs someone he'll listen to when they say no. If you really care about House, you'll stop feeling sorry for him and get out there and start kicking him where he needs kicking. I changed my mind. You won the fish instead of the chicken? This room is for patients' families, not for doctors trying to defraud the government. Oh, so you've decided to take a moral stand. Yes. The chapel still has sanctity for some people. You're right. So I think I saw Blue the janitor pass down one of the pews last week. It's Lou, and I would have thrown him out too. Where are we gonna go? We got caterers staging everything downstairs. We speak, we got floral arrangements, place settings, other wedding-y stuff. It's not my problem. I sent out the invitations. People are coming here. That's also not my problem. And I want the TV back. 